Hi and welcome to Inside Out, Outside In and um, this little activity experience is um, based on the book that uh, today's themed around which is the, the rabbit that stole the fire and we've done the headdress, you should have done the headdress by now. This is now looking into the native um, North American Indians and the totem poles. The book talks about the different animals in the story um, and if you look at, uh, I, I, there should be a bit of information there on the animals and the symbols related to why the animals are symbolic um, and what the animals stand for. Um, so now, if you'd like to, you can um, create your own totem pole. So what you need is clay. This is the nice sort of white putty uh, from Baker Ross, which um, is an on online sort of retailer for art and crafts products. Okay, so I got it from there. It's it's not cheap. Uh, it's good stuff. Or you can get some very the very dark sort of um, ceramic clay or play doh. Okay, um, and if you haven't anything like that, and you still want to do the totem pole, you can use um, some cardboard to um, toilet rolls, anything like that. Okay, you just need to be placing animals on top of each other. So if you have got some clay, brilliant. Okay, what you need to do is. Get the clay, roll it into balls, okay? I would stick with sort of four animals, really. Uh, and these could be, these are sort of symbolic of the character, characteristics of you, your your character, who you are. Or if you want to, you could do people in your family, okay? Um, so here's four. And then try, once you've got them rolled into a ball, try and turn them into sort of little cubes like that, Okay. Um, and they should fit on on top of each other quite nicely, like that. Okay, I'll just for the example, I'll just do three. And I'm going to do um, an eagle, and I'm going to do a stag, and also a rabbit. Okay, so they're going to be my three animals. Um, stick them on top of that, and then you should have a skewer. You'll need a skewer for this, or even a stick is fine. And skewer up the main body through all that clay. You can see so they're sticking on top of each other and it should pop out the top. That's gone a bit wrong angle. That's okay. Okay, so you've got them all secure now. There are your animals. This is, um, like I say, a good activity for a rainy day. I'm sure we have more of those coming up in the moment where the weather's great. But okay, you need to collect some things from outside, either on a walk, in your garden. Okay. Some of the things I've got here are eucalyptus, little sticks, branches, some bark, pine cone, okay, a bit of bamboo actually, a bit of bamboo in my garden, okay. That's the start. You've got to then turn these into your animals. So I said I was going to go with the with the eagle first, so I'm going to get my sort of beak. Okay. Needs a bit more than that. There you go. Have a look. There should be a little link before you do this, talking about how to draw these totem bowls. Have a look at that YouTube clip, uh, an American guy. Uh, it's pretty good. You might want to design your totem pole first before you get stuck in with making it. So there's my eagle. Um, I'm going to use the bark as the wings. And as he said in, in the clip, the guy, everything was quite graphic-y, um, bold lines. They were almost a bit like cartoon characters, these totem poles. Okay, and they were actually um, there to tell a story, to remind, before people had books um, and wrote down stories, these were a way of telling people how all about the history, um, legends, okay, of the tribes. There you go, there's my, um, you can, oh look at that, look at the beak on that, that seems a bit hockey, a bit more hock there to it. So there's my, my uh, eagle, he's the top layer, then you could go in, you could actually stick things in for the eyes, find some little berries or little stones or something there. Okay, next layer I'm going to go with the stag, so these are going to be my antlers. Okay, and ooh, 
not too sure about the stag's face actually. Um, how would that look? There you go, I haven't done a design you see, you need a design in front of you to sort of copy off really. Okay, there's my stag. And then finally I'm going to do a rabbit for the bottom layer, okay. What can I do for the whiskers? Um, I'm going to use a bit of bamboo here for the ears, the sort of floppy ears, and get that sort of stuck in the side there. They're quite big, these ears are. So I might just put that down, perhaps rip the ears a little bit there, or it might be a good idea actually to have a pair of scissors. And I've not even got a pair of scissors on me at the moment. That's not great, is it? So there you go, I've torn them off. There you go, they're going to be my rabbit's ears. Stick them in the side there. Oh, that one's dreadful. Come on, Esther, sort it out. There we go. Not very rabbity. And you could do whiskers as well, obviously. Get some tiny little something in there to do the whiskers. My eyes, it looks like a person with an alien or something. Anyway, you get the idea, okay? If it's air drying clay, it should take about 24 hours to dry, solid, okay? The skewer that you're using, um, I would leave that in. You could stick it in the ground in the garden once it's dry, okay? Um, if you want to, you could pull it out. I would leave, leave it in, to be honest. So you'd have it in your bedroom, in a plant pot or in the garden. If you want to, and I've got the, you can see I've got the Posca pens here in the background. These are paint pens I use a lot at Forest School. You want to, you want to decorate. When it's dry, you can obviously decorate paint your clay. But if you actually want to decorate um, some of the bark or some of the leaves that you're using um, before you stick it in, that might be an idea. I'm just going to do a few stripes here because totem poles are actually really, really bright. Um, the more modern ones you see nowadays obviously are quite bright but in the olden days they would have been the olden days <sighs> hundreds of years ago they would have been very bright as well obviously they fade a lot in history and weathered so there you go have a go at that that is your nature inspired totem pole so you need to think at first what animals you're going to add to your totem pole have a look at the youtube clip how to draw them on top of each other and then go out get you what you need what bits and bobs do you need, okay, to stick in your clay or your Play-Doh or plasticine, anything else like that. All right, enjoy. Thanks. Bye.